Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect, where in the last episode we uh, had an interesting mission with Garrus, concerning Garrus, and then we went here to Pressrop, I think. Was there a Cerberus base here or something? I'm not sure. There was something going on here in Hogging Ada, but there's nothing more going on here at the moment, so let's just go out. And I think there's only very few clusters that I haven't visited. I think Maroon Sea I didn't visit and also Styx Theta. So let's get started by going to Maroon Sea, right? It's free systems even. Let's start here. I think there was a mission that we picked up somewhere along the way that led us there. So let's get started on that. At some point we also have to go on and investigate uh, the, the important uh, mission that the council wants to set us up on that I have chosen to ignore for, for, for quite some time. Heavy metal surveyed. While scanning this asteroid field in the Herschel system we discovered a large deposit of platinum. That's good. I think we already got enough heavy metal. But, well, you, you can never have enough heavy metal, right? So, this was something... Guess I must have imagined that. I was pretty sure there was there was something blinking around here. Strange. So is there something more? There is something. Rocky asteroid. Growing data is recovered. While scanning the asteroid field in the Matana system, we discovered a badly damaged ship. The recon team found no survivors on board, but they did find a Prothean data disk. Yeah, I think I already talked about that. They that they seem to appear out of nowhere, basically anywhere. Okay, what do we have here? Light metal, cool. Magnesium. I think we're actually looking for more light metals, so that was good. Nope. Nope. Then we have Chaska and Ilapa. I think Chaska is the planet we're actually landing on. So let's investigate that last. Chaska is a large but low density world, fundamental similar to its inner neighbor Inti. Like Inti, Chaska is a tidally locked to Matano. The same side always faces the sun, resulting in a scorching day side and a frozen night side. In the temperate areas around the Terminator, temperatures average around 30 Celsius. Combined with a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere, the slender band of habitable terrain allows limited colonization by humans. Chaska's ring is unique. It appears to be, for lack of a better term, a massive piece of alien installation art. These rings are made of small pieces of synthetic material and are almost invisible from space. From the ground, they catch and scatter the light of Matano in, in picturesque ways. It's not, n it's not known who created the ring or when. Chaska is in very early development, with little more than a few pioneer teams scattered across the surface. Information is being collated about native hazards and ecology, while massive colonists recruiting drivers gearing up back on Earth. Colony founder 3183. That's just that has been just recently. Very recently. Alright, let's bring Liara along for this and Garrus. No, we already brought Garrus last time. Let's bring Caden instead. And let's check out this planet. Alright. What do we got here? Civilian structure, science facilities. Interesting. Let's investigate the anomaly to solve our position first. I also think I really messed up the um, introductory uh, summary of the last episodes because I think the Garrow stuff happened way long ago. It's just happened that I uh, that, that that was the last episode that I um, actually uh, well. Uh, uh, produced to the finish, so I think that that was why I was a little bit irritated. And I got the y-axis problem again. Uh, maybe... Wait a sec. No. Input. Yes, let's not invert that. Yeah, okay, that feels better. All right, let's get this rolling. It doesn't have the best uh, way to drive around here. That's that's for sure. That, that's for certain. 
Um, this is going pretty down. Alright, but we're fine. Pretty mountainous, the region here. Wonder why that is. I mean... Well, this is probably a difficult question to answer how mountainous planets should be on average. So, I, th I think it's great that uh, here we have such a variety of planets that where are some that are th that are not very hilly and are pretty flat and here we have one of the other extremes where it's extremely hilly i'm not quite sure without addition without without having additional sources right now to say which is more realistic there's a pyramid here again huh. and there's also an installation over there but let's climb the pyramid just for you know because we can I don't think there's anything here, but we can and we can enjoy the view. <clears throat> While I'm not trying to mess up Firefly quotes again, I, I, I promise, not this time. Okay, let's check out what's going on here. Some medical kit, secure crate. No, there was com something coming out of that field. Oh, I managed to make it, okay. Oh. Oops, my inventory is full. Interesting. I did not know that. That I'm really sorry about. Huh. <clears throat> I thought I cleared my entire inventory after the last episode. I must have been wrong. I'm sorry. So let me reduce a little bit to Omnigil. I really don't need any of that shit. Strange. Well. We're almost done for now and I need to remember that after this episode I need to destroy stuff again like because I don't do that on a regular basis yeah thanks uh, for the reminder could have forgotten about that already I guess something here there's an artifact here interesting Another Prothean data just recovered. There's a small, small there's, there are several small Prothean artifacts in the crate, including an intact Prothean data disk. It appears to be in excellent condition. Okay. Uh, this is sort of bad. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Don't have to remind me. I would also really have liked a button like melt down everything here like, when you get a bunch of items that you can say that oh, just well, there's nothing interesting let's just melt down everything oops i didn't want to do that i wanted to open up the map let's go to the debris first might be interesting the debris so probably just has some minor loot that i really don't need but it could be Amazing. So, for the small chance that it actually is amazing, let's investigate it nonetheless. And we're almost through with, with all this exploration stuff. I mean, I think I might have overstayed my welcome with all this uh, stuff that I did, but... What the hell? Got enemy contacts on site. Hmm. Well, there's something down there. Looks like husks, actually. Goddess, have mercy. The entire colony must have been transformed. Oh, I already forgot the mission briefing said something about that there was a small colony here with a few hundred colonists, I think. Maybe less. 150, I think, if I remember correctly, which I may probably not. And I messed up that here. Uh, anyway, so seems like they have been turned into husks because, like, we like fighting husks, apparently. Could we, good, could we please get over this mountain? Thank you. Let's investigate that further. Hmm. Could have also driven around it, I guess, but didn't know that before. Let's get. No, that's, that's repairing. I'm messing that up again, am I, am I not? I think Q is leaving, not F. F is repairing. Wonder why it worked because I didn't see a, that I was damaged. But anyway, oh, what the? Yeah, thank you for the reminder. Hmm. 
No. This way. Where is everybody? I have a bad feeling about this. You got your your hands solo now, Liara. That's that's a little weird. You have no you have no right to be to be hand solo yet, Liara. I mean, you're an ar archaeologist, and Harrison Ford was playing an archaeologist in another franchise that we knew. But say, I have a bad feeling about this. There's a little bit. It's interesting. All right, let's investigate the buildings. Maybe there's someone inside that needs saving. I sort of doubt it though. Guess there'll just be more husks. Oh yeah. Confirming guess. And they're not moving. For a particular reason they're not moving. Now you're moving. Strange behavior. Liara, could you maybe you know lay down the magic over there? something to do. But she didn't, but should be able to handle those. Caden is down. I repeat, Caden is down. Negative contact. Not sure why, they, why we have green blood here. Husk shouldn't have blood, right? Not sure. I always thought husks were not in, were not organic enough anymore to bleed, but I may be wrong. Yeah, thank you. At least it's a, a kinetic coil. It's actually one of the few things that I can actually outfit some people with because I don't think I have enough enough kinetic coils and especially um, the heat reducing upgrade. Oh, I forgot the name. I don't need any of that. Uh, well, let me check because it bothers me. Um, frictionless materials, yes. We don't have enough of those yet. Uh, juice. You don't always need to answer, ask me if I really want to do that. Lead on, Commander. Not like this the first time that I destroyed something. But I'm not full, at, full with Omnigil at this point. For some reason. I think I already was at some point in this game where I had 999 Omnigil, which is sort of the maximum limit for Omnigil apparently. So, let's check what's going on here. Oops, no, I won't make that in time. Yeah. Just go away. Alright. I guess we got this base. There's an aid station over there, though. Which we can get more magic from. Not that we didn't already have uh, the maximum amount that we can carry, which is 10, which is quite a large number all by itself. Now we got four more, so we're at 10, right? Right? Right. And the grenades are almost full up again. Not sure how many grenade upgrades I have. I think it's not. I don't have a maximum limit of 10 there, but they are a little bit rarer, admittedly, and especially since I used a lot of those on uh, Pharos. So, been here, or also been there, so let's investigate the structure here too. It's over there, apparently. But there's a mineral patch over there. Yeah. I think I want to investigate the mineral patch so I can finish the valuable materials quest because I'm only lacking like two light metals and then I'm set to go. Not sure if that is a light metal deposit, mind you, but in the rare event that it might be that, I'm one step closer to having that finished. For you know the big experience boost that I get once I'm once I'm done with that. Which might bring us a small step closer to level 60. I think we haven't reached level 60 yet, right? We're 
Level 59 still, yeah. It's not that much left, but... Redeploying. We'll, we'll, we'll get there soon. Beryllium, that should be life metal actually. Yay! Yay! Cool. That worked out really well. Thank you, minerals. That was that was pretty pretty awesome. Right. Wow, it's don't turn. No, that's not the proper way to turn. That's trying to get off the ridge and not turning. Now, can we can we stay on here? Yeah, almost. Almost. Okay. Oh. Okay, I guess with those maneuvers I damaged the wheels a little bit and that may have been the reason for why the <clears throat> repairing actually worked last time when I tried that. Um, There's spikes. Oh joy, I can only imagine that that means that we have more husks incoming. But let's not draw early conclusions yet. Oh, it's more husks incoming. I did not see that coming. Yara, we could use some stuff. No, you're busy doing something. Maybe do it now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, damaged soda. Currently have the invisible husk attack again. Because normally these husks, when they get close, they sort of emit, I don't know what to call it. It's something like of an electromagnetic wave, maybe, I don't know. It looks like an electric wave that sort of emanates from them. Like this one. But sometimes it's invisible and you can't really see it. And Because no no normally they would only be able to damage you in melee range. But sometimes you have these waves and you can't even see it. This one wasn't invisible, I just didn't see it because I wasn't looking that way. No, you leave you really are all the lesser. Alright. Caden Caden was uh Caden went down again, but uh, that's that's not <laughs> that's no news. He also went down in like one hit. Anyway, I guess since the rest of the episode I would just open up the containers and destroy stuff. I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode a little bit early. In the next episode we'll continue looting this place after I've cleaned up my inventory a little bit. And then we'll investigate the third civilian structure that is here, which is maybe not... Um, not uh, inhabited, by, uh, inhabited by husks at the moment. So we'll figure that out in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.